Right, it's Thursday afternoon. We're in Manchester. Car's fully charged. I did actually move it overnight, um, so it wasn't on charge all night and all day. Um, but loads of charge bays here at the car park. Reasonable price, 30p per kilowatt hour, and it works really easy with Octopus. And the Octopus Electroverse card, I do recommend you get, um, because all you have to do is just tap the card. You don't have to worry about scanning QR codes and paying. It just, you tap the card and it bills it to an account. If you've got an Octopus Energy account, it goes on your normal energy bill. So it's a lot easier. So, got 161 miles of range, and it's more than 161 miles to Glasgow. So I'm gonna to have to stop. Now I've used three route planners. My favorite one, a better route planner. And in fact, all the other ones all say to stop at Gretna Green Surfaces. And they all say that I'll only make it there with 6% charge. So it's gonna be very tight, but no one seems to suggest anything better than that. And there are lots of chargers at Gretna Green. So this should be a proper long run. And hopefully we won't have to stop to go to the loop before then. So this will be one long run to get the green. I'm gonna go at normal speed, um, do everything normally, sort of 60, 70 miles an hour, 65, 70. But yeah, so this should be the proper endurance test. We are at about 50% battery and I thought this would be a good time to go over a better route planner and uh, how it works. So I put my destination in as Glasgow and what it does is it calculates where I have to stop and for how long. But also, I have a Bluetooth um, dongle which connects to the car, connects the car to the phone. So it's able to see the real-time percentage of the battery, and that's displayed down here on the screen. So this is Apple CarPlay and it's showing 51%. The car is also showing 51% on the screen of the car. And that gives you a real range of sort of 2714, so about 140 motorway miles at 70 miles an hour. Um, so I think that is the real world range on the motorway. This car's not really suited to the motorway. It does everything else very well, but it's not really a motorway car. Obviously, that's about two hours motorway driving. So this is saying here that we should keep our speed at 65 and we'll get there with 10%. When I set off it said we're going to get there with 6%, um, that is to get the green surfaces. And it will also show you on here how long you have to charge for. So it's about 39 minutes and we need to charge to about 86%. I think I've selected that I want to get to Glasgow with 30%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to Greta Green Services and I'm going to charge uh, until I get to 85% because that's when the charge speed drops off. And that should get us to Glasgow with an adequate level of charge. It um, seems to be quite accurate at the moment. You can see actually, yeah, so it's 68 miles and it's 50%. Just over uh, 140 miles of 70 mile an hour cruising range. And also down here it's quite good because it tells us our arrival at Glasgow. So that's including charging time. So it takes into account how long it takes to charge. Right, we're here at Gretna Green. We've got a 12% charge and a better route planner said we should have 6%, so that's better than expected. Um, Ionity is all full, but they've got lots of these Apple Green chargers. Now, I did download the app last night, so let's have a look at that, see whether we can get it to work. Uh, here we go, Gretna Green. Gretna Green 6, yep. Number two, yep. Connect cable. And swipe to start. Well, that seems to be working. 
So yeah, slightly better than expected. We've got slightly more electricity and we're going to charge for 85% if it works. That sounds good. I did see someone on ZapMap who said they had problems because uh, they were trying to charge and it kept failing and they, ran, they tried it 10 times and they used up 300 pounds worth of reserve credit on their um, bank card. So I thought it'd be better to use the app. Oh, here we go. Now it's always good to check that it goes up, actually does start charging at a reasonable speed. So 12% now, I want to get to 85. There we go, yeah, 50 kilowatts, that's good. Right, um, it's half an hour later and I'm back up to 87% charge. Unfortunately, um, I've had to move the car because the kids are still eating their chips. So that does seem to be another issue with going with kids. I've just about finished, I haven't finished my coffee, I've finished my meal, but um, yeah, uh, I've moved because there are other people, it needs to be, sort of glitches with these chargers. Mine work perfectly, but I don't know. Look, I think the thing to do is these people behind, if you're gonna charge, it's annoying, but use the app. It just seems to work better. That interface between the card machine and the charger seems to give issues and you've got pre-authorization issues. Use the app, or even better, use an RFID card, the Octopus card, or any of the other cards I've got in my wallet. Uh, I did check, they don't work with this charger. Same thing with GridServe, they don't have a card that works on their system. Um, I try and only go to chargers which support Octopus now because it's just so easy. Because um, you, you can't run up pre-authorization issues. Um, but yeah, my, my experience, um, fine, it's two and a half hours here. We needed to go to the loo, and we actually had to sort of stop drinking about an hour beforehand, because I wanted to see how long I could go. This is as far as I thought I could reasonably go. Could have gone a little bit further, I suppose. 12%, uh, two and a half hours driving. Um, that's really the limit of range of bladder and all of drinks and all of that, so. Right, we're here in Glasgow and um, that was all fine. Uh, we've got 21% still and rather unexpectedly, this hotel has a brand new charger. It's not on ZapMap, it's not on anything and I don't know how I'm gonna pay for it, but I'm gonna use the AC charge because it's a bit silly, it's a fast charger here. You don't really need a fast charger, but I'm gonna use AC because if someone turned up, they might want the fast charge and I'm in no hurry, I'm going to be here for ages. So I'm going to select my output, connect. Okay, all right. Use your phone, RFID card. Yeah, okay, let's try the octopus card. Wow! Whoa. <laughs> okay, isn't actually charging yet. What would be good actually is if I could have parked there because um, then it would have leave, left these two for fast charge free but there we go, it's it's charging. Don't know how much it is because it's not on any of the apps but um, it works and that's amazing. Well, a bit of a postscript here to the video. I'm just coming out to the charger and I'm stopping it. I've been here 15 minutes and I've noticed something so uh, let's have a look at the charge level. So yeah, I'm at 29, 29%, 30%. So it's going to stop it because this charger is not on ZapMap or Octopus Electroverse map or in fact any charge map I could find. But this is a Genie Point app and obviously they've got it on uh, their system. So I had a look. And it says you get charged £10 if you stay here for longer 
than 90 minutes. Well, it's going to take longer than 90 minutes to charge up on AC. So I'm going to have to use, and it's, I'm going to have to use DC. Now this isn't quite as silly as it sounds. So I'm just going to. So uh, why does it make sense? Well, the first EVs, they weren't really sure what standard to use. So the very first EVs were either Chidemo, um Nissan Leaf, or Renault Zoe had 43 kilowatt fast charge AC. So this is actually a fast AC charger. And I think basically what they're saying is if you sh this is just a fast charger. In fact, it's got AC, it's just there because it supports um, old Renault Zoe's. And the, the fact is that old Renault Zoe's could charge at 43 kilowatt um, AC, and this is 50 and 50 DC. This is just a fast charger. Um, and obviously my car will only charge at 11 kilowatt AC, not 43. So they only want you to use it whilst you're fast charging. It's a bit silly really, because um, it's a hotel. People are gonna be here all night. They should, instead of having one 50 kilowatt charger, there should be a row of sevens. At least it's here. And I'm not gonna have to drive around trying to find a charger in Glasgow. So I can um, go and have a shower and then come back down in well, under 90 minutes and take it off charge. But yes, so um, don't get caught out by that. Um, I was trying to do the right thing and use the AC to save the DC for somebody else, but they want you to just basically have one car connected at a time, because I think this can only supply. Yeah, I mean, look, it's only charging at 40 kilowatt. So it's gonna take a little while. Still four times faster than the built-in charger. So, I wanted to use AC, it's better for the battery, I thought it'd be cheaper, it's not cheaper, and um, I would actually end up being more expensive. Best to check these things, so there's a little sort of postscript to this video. Um, but it's still good that the charger's here, because after kind of an hour or whatever, this will be fully charged, I get a notification on my phone to say it's fully charged, I'll just pop down and move it into another space. Well, if you're still watching, I'm very impressed. It's weird, this is, this is ramping up to 50 kilowatt. It's gone up to 41 now. I thought this looked new, this charger. I had a look at the data plate and it's really new. Built, it was made in Italy by ABB in the 22nd week of 2023. So it's um, very new. Only literally must have been installed really, really recently. It's just appeared, this charger, in the Octopus app. So, wow, okay. And um, so by me charging here, it somehow added it to the Octopus Electroverse app. Um, so that's, that's good. Um, I got the receipt for the, the AC charge. It's, by the way, it's, it's the same price AC as DC. Really confused. They didn't make very many Nissan Leaf. Um, Renault Zoe's with the 43 kilowatt AC charge option. It was not made for that long. The original one didn't have fast charge. And the ones that you can buy now, and for the last few years, if you option fast charge, it was CCS. So I don't really know why Premier Inn and Genie Point have bothered to install a fast charger for cars that of just really 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 rare most cars can only charge at 11 kilowatt ac some renault's 22 kilowatt ac as far as i know but um yeah this is brand new that's why it's not on any of the apps i'm going to try and add it to that map now um and yes so it's quite weird that by me tapping my card on it it's added it to the octopus app automatically I don't know quite how that works but it does and it works fine but yeah a bit of a, re a weird decision a putting a fast charger in at all and b having fast ac charging and slow by today's standards dc 50 kilowatt ccs is slow 